Hi everybody, I'm Jen with opensource.com. I have a brand new top five articles of the week for you for June 10th. I'm reporting to you from home today because I have a couple teammates who are at Southeast Linux Fest in Charlotte, North Carolina today. That's going on this weekend. If you don't know anything about it, you should check it out. Uh, and I also have a, a couple other teammates who are at the beach because it's the summertime and that's just a good thing to be doing. So let's get started with the top five. At number five, we have our 2016 Open Source Summer Reading List. This year's collection includes 11 books on open source history, culture, and personalities, leadership and business, analytics, learning and playing with Raspberry Pi, and writing. At number four, open source tools enable professional photography. At Southeast Linux Fest 2016 in Charlotte today, JT Pennington will give a talk. Ahead of that talk, he wrote a really cool article for us about the various high quality open source photo editing tools out there for us to try. At number three, three open source alternatives to MATLAB. If you don't know what MATLAB is, for many students in mathematics, physical sciences, engineering, economics, or another academic field that has a heavy numeric component, MATLAB is their first introduction to programming and scientific computing. You can learn more about alternatives to MATLAB from this article by Jason Baker. At number two, how to choose a PHP framework. This article examines three of the most popular PHP frameworks, including Symfony, Laravel, and Yee. Find out how they compare to help you decide which one might be best for you. And finally, at number one, why I built my own homebrew Linux router. Setting up your own router from a generic server distro isn't a project for everyone, but you'll likely get a kick out of and learn a little something from Jim Salter's explanation of why he started and completed this cool project. All right, everyone, that's it for the top five. Thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you next time.